Hi, my name is Prashant Dupam. I'm one of the core developers of VTK Designer. In this video, I want to show you the haptics capabilities in VTK Designer. First, we're going to start giving you a brief description of what a haptic device is and uh, how our haptic device looks like. It's a Phantom Omni desktop device. And then we're going to construct very simple applications in VTK Designer and haptically enable them. So, let's start. So, what we're going to do now is to construct a very simple pipeline to show an arrow that has the exact same position and orientation as the haptic stylus has. So we drag and drop an arrow source, a mapper, a cursor actor, which is a special class written by us to synchronize the position and orientation of any polydata object attached to it with that of the stylus. And then we put it on a haptic renderer and a render window. So you'll notice now that the arrow is now moving along with the stylus and it's also trying to orient. But the problem is that the initial orientation of the arrow is different from the initial orientation of the stylus. So we're going to have to correct this mistake. So what we do now is we put a polydata transform and then um, connect the rest of the pipeline. And now we're going to set the exact uh, initial transformation for the arrow in here. So we rotate it by 90 degrees about the y-axis and then translate it back by minus one units along the x-axis. And of course, uh, before doing this, we want to make sure that the transformation is set to identity. And now we execute the script and then uh, now you'll notice that the arrow is oriented and positioned uh, appropriately. So in the next video, you're going to notice that uh, it's actually working. See, as I'm moving the stylus here, the arrow is also moving along with the stylus inside the render window over there. So this is a very simple example of uh, haptic cursor visualization in uh, VTK Designer. Now we're going to do something more interesting. We'll drag and drop a cube into the scene and let's try to touch the cube using the haptic device. So, see I'm able to touch the cube here. It was very simple. All I had to do was to create a, a cube uh, uh, source, connect it to a mapper, and then connect it to a haptic actor. And now I'm able to touch the cube. But so what I'm going to do now is change the color of the uh, arrow so that you'll be able to differentiate it visually. The feeling is quite impressive. Now, let's do something more uh, interesting here. Let's make use of the scripting capabilities in VDK Designer to uh, touch and feel, the not only just touch and feel the cube, but also move the cube around in the 3D scene. The Haptic Stylus has two buttons. Uh, they're called button one and button two. Uh, what I'm going to do now is whenever the user, whenever whenever I click on the button one, it's very similar to the mouse click actually. When I click on button one, I select the object and then when I drag the haptic stylus around, the cube actually moves in the scene. So we'll write the basic code for all of that and uh, uh, make the cube move. What I just did right now was to write the code for uh, on one button one down and on button one up. You'll notice it's very similar to mouse press and mouse release events uh, or mouse move events that we handle in uh, GUI applications. So after I do all of this, I'm now able to move the cube. I just uh, rewrote the code uh, so that the cube movement is a little more smooth. And uh, well, here is how the cube moves. So I pick up my stylus and I, you can still see the arrow here. I can click on the cube, right? And uh, click on the button and the color changes to red as we told it to in the script. And now I can move the cube around. I've intentionally slowed down the video so that you can observe this. Now extending this concept, uh, you can design virtual assembly kind of applications in VDK Designer. Of course, we're not taking orientation into consideration here. 
anyway this is the next example in this video where uh, it shows a pipeline that's very similar to the terrain rendering example that's shown in one of my previous videos but we're going to haptically enable this terrain and not just that we will be able to uh, drag our the haptic uh, stylus on the surface of the terrain and uh, along the path the stylus is dragged this particular VTK designer application creates a tube of what practical use this particular example is uh, I'm, I'm not sure but it definitely demonstrates the haptics capability in uh, VTK designer uh, the terrain is it's taking an awfully long time to process so let's switch off the um, texture here so that the terrain is brighter great so what we're going to do now is uh, let's take the haptic stylus put it on the terrain you see that white ball there uh, let me change the color of the ball and uh, the size of the ball if possible and so that it looks bigger and you can make out the haptic cursor in the screen so as you can see in this particular example we're making use of a sphere as the uh, haptic cursor in the previous example it was an arrow you can actually make it any polygonal source you want so as I move along or drag the stylus along the surface see there's a pipe being created let me actually show it to you in uh, this video here I move the stylus along the surface and uh, I can feel the surface by the way and drag it in VTK designer in fact you can even set material properties you know things like stiffness dampness friction Support for haptic devices is still very limited in VTK Designer. We hope to add more support in the coming days and show you more examples, like examples like virtual surgery, virtual assembly of machine parts, things like that. As we come up with all these examples, we hope to bring you more such video demonstrations of VTK Designer and the haptic devices. We hope to see you again in our next video. Uh, thank you very much for your time. My name is Prashant Rupa from VTK Logic. Goodbye.